uh, recent events have kind of motivated me to uh, do a in the bag video. I've seen so many of you guys uh, have done this and I think it's uh, kind of a neat idea to see what other goalies are using, what kind of equipment. <coughs> uh, you know, Wayne the VO goalie is a big Warrior fan and uh, I'm also a big fan of his channel. I, I suggest you guys subscribe to him. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, it's been neat to see a lot of your guys' gear and I thought it'd be cool to, uh, to do that now that I got some free time. So uh, I guess to start, um, I'll go ahead and show you guys like my basic stuff, my my uh, undergarments and stuff like that. Obviously, uh, well, we can start with the jersey. So most of you guys have seen the uh, OSHC or the Old Sharks Hockey Club. Uh, these are the jerseys for them. And uh, we use blue and gold, just uh, the St. Louis Blues colors. Uh, so then they have like six teams and they play a couple nights a week. It's a good group. <coughs> um, so I always carry an old towel with me for uh, drying off after the skate and uh, cleaning my blades uh, to keep them dry so they don't rust, uh, which is important. So uh, also I just wear Under Armour uh, top and uh, some form of dry fit undergarments. And then uh, the chamois band, which is uh, a must in the helmet. Um, so starting getting dressed, I guess, uh, you know, first comes first is your your cup, which is uh, probably one of the most important pieces of equipment. I uh, recently have upgraded to the Von Ventus uh, double cup, which I really liked. Uh, it's quite comfortable, but I don't know if you guys can see here, there's actually a, a player style cup underneath, and then on top of that, there is a carbon plated outer cup, which uh, offers you quite a bit of extra protection. Uh, also, you have the rather large uh, thigh pads on each side of the belt, which are very helpful sometimes depending on the type of pants you wear. Um, but yeah, I, I purchased this uh, used from a friend. Um, he was nice enough to ship it to me, and uh, it's really been uh, one of the nicest jocks that I've worn. Very protective and uh, very good piece of gear. Uh, after that, I usually go into uh, my pants immediately after. Uh, these are an older set of Vons, the Velocity uh, line. I believe they're, I want to say 7400 is the uh, model. Um, they offer decent protection. I don't play in very high level leagues. Uh, Again, these are older, uh, older set of pants, uh, breezers, whatever you guys uh, call them. But uh, I really, really have liked these. Um, this is going to be one of my newer, uh, newer pieces of equipment that I'll be looking to replace. Uh, just with the changing style of, you know, butterfly pads and things like that. These are a little snug, uh, a little difficult to move around in sometimes, and uh, they're getting some wear too. So. That'll be something I'll be replacing uh, in the near future. Um, also, uh, we have, so after I get my cup and pants on, I usually uh, put my skates on following that. Um, some of you guys have seen recently that I purchased some uh, True Skates used. Uh, I found them on one of the Goalie Facebook channels, which uh, have been very helpful for me. Uh, these are the true one-piece uh, holder uh, skates, VH, formerly VH skates. Uh, these were used from the Predators uh, Association. Uh, I believe UC Saros owned these prior. Uh, it still has his nameplate on the bottom. Uh, another gentleman that I had met online was uh, at the equipment sale, purchased these, hoping they would fit. They did not. So uh, he was gracious enough to pass on his savings to me, which I was very thankful for. Uh, side note on these also, um, they are signed, which is kind of a neat little tidbit, uh, which some people are, you know, some people think is crazy, but uh, I am a, a Soros fan, but not enough to hang them on the wall just yet. I do enjoy using them. So, um, but, uh, so there was an issue with these when I first got them, not to go too into detail, but uh, there's some chipping that happens in the carbon fiber holder uh, that uh, a lot of common issues goalies have been having with them. I did send them to True 
and uh, they charge you fifty dollars to repair so there's like a poly a liquid poly finish that they put on them to help seal the cracks uh, which was very nice and there was some shipping issues uh, with getting the skates to Canada and back from the States uh, they were lost in transit this was over the holidays so it's probably a bad time to send them but uh, True ended up paying for everything took care of me and uh, replaced my tongues also free of charge which was amazing so just wanted to give True a quick shout out there um, but yeah I do love the True skates even though they are custom uh, they still have the general sizing uh, they are very comfortable. Uh, what I was wearing was uh, a Graf Supra uh, 4500 skate before, which is a really low level uh, skate, and these have been outstanding. So, uh, so then I typically put my skates on after my pants and cup. Following that, I usually go straight into the, uh, the knee guards, which right now I'm using a set of Brian's knee guards. Uh, a lot of guys like the thigh, thigh guards. I am not a fan. Uh, they tend to bind in the pants, uh, even if they're tied in, which I don't like. Um, tried using them in the past, was not a fan, um, but had never used knee guards before. So since I didn't like the thigh guards, I tried the knee guards, and I eventually got used to them. Um, it's something that just takes time and you know, wearing them, getting used to them. But uh, I've found that I love these. They are very protective. Um, Warrior seems to make a good set too. I have not tried those yet, but that's my next step after these wear out. Um, but anyway, I do love the Brian's knee guards. Uh, after the knee guards, I tend to put my pads on next. Uh, so I go from bottom up pretty much, which is pretty typical for most goalies, I think. So my last or most recent uh, pad has been the Vaughn Ventus. These are a low-level pad, uh, the LT88s, not uh, your expensive pro-style uh, pad. Again, I don't play high-level hockey, so um, there's really no need for the pro gear, although it is nice uh, for durability and um, general wear and tear. Uh, they do tend to last longer. I just, I just uh, am cheap and uh, don't have a lot of money, so I spend, I spend uh, my dollars as well as I can. Anyway, uh, the bonds have been great. Um, these are an older model also with the still a uh, couple leather straps on these so you have your calf straps uh of an upper and lower which kind of minimizes it they eliminated the middle strap which is nice uh also the leather boot strap which i do still use um i know a lot of guys have got, gotten away from that uh you have the elastic strap for the knee and calf which i also like kind of helps keep your pad uh close to the uh, knee landing knee block uh, doesn't allow your your leg to get too far out of the channel um, something that I have changed recently which I wanted to mention is the toe ties so I used to use traditional uh, skate lace toe ties which uh, were great but the one thing that I found I had an issue with was they would constantly fray uh, they get wore out really easily uh, use wax laces and non wax laces and they still tend to wear out also they take a really long time to uh, put on so uh, as I started to look for other options uh, a friend of mine who is local who used to work for Total Goalie uh, and does some manufacturing uh, actually some amazing work in his in his own home uh, developed a, a personal set of the elastic toe straps which was what I was using prior to these uh, the elastics were great. They worked for a long time. Uh, they were starting to get worn out. Kind of what you get with your elastic uh, strapping around the knees and stuff. They kind of get the bacon effect uh, where they're just starting to get wore out. So I had him make me a set of the um, paracord uh, house straps. So uh, for those of you who have never used these, they are amazing. They do relieve quite a bit of stress on your ankle and knee and hips uh, as far as allowing the pads to pull away without that tension uh, so if you can see the setup it's got like the hook velcro on two sides and then a single side with uh, the fuzzy velcro on the opposite side uh, so this just sets in and folds through he made me a very thin set uh, typically these are a little wider I think one to inch and a quarter wide 
I uh, asked him if he would do a narrow set for me because on the true skates, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this hole here is considerably smaller than your standard skate. Uh, I was having a hard time getting getting my toe ties through that opening. So he, uh, he did me a solid and made me a thin set of these pair cords, which I really do like. Um, obviously with every piece of equipment you're going to have some issues. Uh, I had some over rotation issues with the elastic straps. Uh, and with these I'm actually having, I think it's a lot of it just because they're new and fresh, um, having some under rotation issues. But uh, for those of you that are having rotational issues, uh, your first place to look is in your straps. Anyway, uh, so I have been really happy with the Ventus line. Um, I, I do like Vaughn, a lot of it. I've had other pads in the past, uh, Brian's, Reeboks, other things like that. These are a great stiff butterfly pad. They kick the rebounds out there. I don't know if you guys have seen a couple of my videos. They, they shoot them out there. So I really do like those. Uh, after I get my pads all suited up, that's pretty much it. That's kind of when I take my time to uh, reflect in the locker room and then right before I head out to the ice I uh, I throw on the chest protector which uh, in this case is a Brian's Pro it's actually the only piece of Pro equipment that I that I own uh, it's a zero G Pro uh, again another older piece of equipment uh, this thing has been through the ringer I purchased it used uh, from a high school student some years ago and uh, but it's been great it's a beast um, as with any piece of equipment, you're going to hit a, uh, you know, a stinger here or there. But uh, the arms are bulky uh, slightly, but not too much where you can't move. Uh, basically, uh, more of a blocking style chest protector, which I've kind of developed into that type of a goalie uh, more recently. Um, it's a strong chest protector. I've loved it. I will, I've looked at Brian's. I'm wanting to kind of look more into the Warrior stuff. Uh, potentially, but uh, this is another great piece of equipment um, that I really enjoyed having. And it, it's uh, very adjustable and it, it's really suited my needs. So uh, for those of you that have been watching the channel, you'll kind of know that I have upgraded gloves more recently. Um, I upgraded to the Warrior uh, Ritual GT Senior Gloves. These are not pros, um, but it is, uh, it's been an eye-opening experience. Uh, the Warrior has really come a long way uh, in their development of their gear, and uh, a lot of guys are going to it. It's, uh, it's pretty nice stuff uh, from what I've seen in the stores. Uh, the technology is there. Um, from every piece I've ever put my hand on uh, to the guys that I've spoken to that are using it, uh, friends of mine and, and such, uh, I've seen and heard nothing but really positive things. Uh, there are some durability issues, I think, with the G4s, but I think they're kind of uh, going to be addressing that with the G5s, which are coming out soon. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have seen uh, the customizers out now. So, uh, But anyway, I really do like this glove. Uh, I've never had a uh, one-piece cuff before, uh, before I was using a Von Ventus glove, uh, which was a two-piece. So uh, the two-piece basically offers you a little more mobility with the wrist. Uh, the one-piece glove, uh, a little stiffer, uh, was a bit of an adjustment, but uh, it does close very well. Um, I have not gotten any stingers uh, with this glove, which has been amazing. Uh, the one thing, uh, if there is a gripe I had about it, uh, which, and I don't know if this is a gripe really as much as it is just something that I've noticed, uh, this pocket is much larger than the Vaughn that I was used to, uh, with also the nylon uh, string as opposed to the lacing which I had in my Vaughn uh, I can barely feel the puck in the pocket uh, when I when the puck hits it is just the subtlest uh, the subtlest feeling it's almost like it's not even there so I have had some problems uh, when it hits the pocket directly uh, which for me isn't very often because I'm terrible with uh, my hand eye but uh, there's not a lot of really good sensation in like the hand and the wrist that the puck is there. Um, that might change in time after the gloves gotten a little wear. I mean, it is still pretty new, but uh, I really do like it. Um, as, along with that, I got the uh, Warrior Ritual GT uh, blocker, which uh, also is uh, quite nice. It's got a really nice balance to it. Um, a little blocky for a blocker. I don't know if that's like uh, a typical thing. You know, they say a blocker is a blocker, but. Uh, 
it is very well balanced uh, compared to my Vaughn. Uh, a little weightier than the Vaughn. Uh, you can definitely feel that there's extra protection there, uh, which is kind of what I really like about it. Um, the fingers are protected well. Uh, it's it's a nice blocker. I, I, I do like it. Um, but uh, so, so far my impression of Warriors uh, equipment using it just in the senior level not the pro level but the senior level uh it's quality stuff uh, it's held up pretty well like i said i haven't had a long time but you know maybe time will tell but uh it's pretty nice so i do like it uh, anyway uh i guess the last piece of equipment that i throw on uh is the mask uh so this is a hackva texelium mask uh again older um uh, they're pretty well known for being a heavier mask uh, there's there's not a whole lot of masks out there that I think are considered to be heavier than this um, as far as weight. Uh, a lot of people complain about um, them being hot. I uh, am not one of those people. I do not notice uh, the weight or the fact that I'm, I'm hotter. I have owned only a handful of other masks in the past. Uh, nothing really modern. Um, worn some of the Bauer uh, low-level masks and uh, TPS before that, things, things of that nature. But this has been uh, my lifesaver for some time now. I uh, finally did upgrade to a cat eye cage, which I love. Uh, the cheater cage was nice, but uh, the cat eye is, is really where it's at, uh, as long as you're willing to sacrifice the, the uh, extra protection. I um, haven't had any issues with sticks or anything like that, uh, but this thing is great. It is due for some foam. Uh, it's, the foam is older and it's starting to kind of stiffen up a little bit, but uh, but as far as protection goes, these things are tanks, uh, well worth the money. Um, I I couldn't I couldn't really recommend a stronger or better mask I've, that I've used. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff out there, but but I do love this mask. Um, so as far as sticks go, I know a lot of you guys were asking about sticks. Uh, right now, I've just kind of been. I always take two sticks to the rink with me because you just never know. Uh, I've been using the Warrior uh, lately. It's uh, it's been good. Uh, it's a little long in the paddle for me. I think it's a 27 and a half, uh, but uh, it's a good stick. Uh, it's got a nice flex. Um, I tend to stick between a 26 or a 26 and a half inch paddle, but I found this one used and it was cheap, so I picked it up. Uh, it's been a good stick. I do like it. Um, my other backup stick right now, the one that I, I take to the rink with me is an old uh, Bauer Reactor 5000. Uh, this thing is is just, I can't believe it's hung in this long. I bought this one new. It's been great. Uh, great flex, great feel. Um, I don't handle the puck very well, a lot of you guys have seen, um, but it's, uh, it's a good stick. So um, some of you guys have seen my Sherwood stick that I carry from time to time. Uh, the one that I tried to break in the old videos. Uh, that one was actually broken when I bought it. I uh, I super glued it back together and it still works. So uh, I know a lot of you guys are uh, small channels like me. Some of you guys are growing. Some of you guys have really, uh, really grown. Uh, but I just want to say thank you to uh, all you guys out there um, from Draft for Oilers to King Van Gate to uh, the smaller guys like McNally and... Uh, Mike, just your average goalie. Mike, the oldest goalie who we haven't heard from in a long time. Hope you're doing okay, Mike. Uh, Morgan, Ice Ice goalie. Uh, there's tons of you guys out there. Um, just want to say thank you for watching uh, and uh, appreciate you guys checking out the channel. So I hope uh, you guys like the In the Bag video. Uh, if you got any questions uh, about what I wear or if you want to tell me what you wear, uh, that's great. You know, put them in the comments. And uh, I love talking goalie stuff. So. Uh, don't be afraid to hit me up. Anyway, like the video. We'll talk to you guys soon, and thanks for watching.